Hello and welcome to the Season 1 Week 4 BOP Tier List video. This week's status was captured Thursday afternoon CST using the iRacing Reports Discord, link below. Alright, starting off with the Touring Car Challenge. This week it goes to Daytona Road Course to get everyone ready for the iRacing War before the 24 next weekend. If you're not aware, this is a special iRacing event happening January 13th to the 15th with four time slots for the 144 minute open setup solo endurance multi-class race, which will feature GT4s, touring cars, and a new Toyota GR86. But do note that McLaren for the GT4 and the Hyundai Veloster for the TCRs are not usable in this event. Also note, they will announce any BOP adjustments one week prior to the event starting, likely at the start of next week, Monday or Tuesday. Anyways, moving on to this week's BOP tier list for the fixed series, the Civic, RS3, and Volster are all pretty spot on BOP wise, all going B tier. However, the Elantra, a second ahead all of them here at Daytona this week, is going S tier. And so here's your touring car challenge fixed tier list for this week at Daytona Road Course. And for the open series, the RS3 falls behind with open setup adjustments going D minus, with the Veloster going D. The Civic gets just within that one second window, and it's going to go B+, while the Elantra holds on to S tier. And so here's the Touring Car Challenge open setup tier list for this week at Daytona Road Course. Hopefully they're going to use this week to see what adjustments are needed for the Roar. As I conclude, the RS3 should get a slight buff, while the Elantra needs a much needed nerf, but we shall see. Alright, moving on to the GT4 series, which is also at Daytona Road Course. And for the fixed series, BOP is looking good for 4 out of the 5 cars, as the Porsche is quite off pace and it's going to go D tier. The BMW and McLaren both go A-, the Aston Martin A, that Mercedes take an S tier. And so here's your GT4 Challenge Fixed tier list for this week at Daytona Road Course. And for the Open Series, the BOPs are spread out a bit more with the setup adjustments. The Porsche now over 2 seconds off our fastest car median time goes D-, and McLaren falls back a bit going C. Then these next two edge the one second window with the Aston Martin and the BMW going to go into B tier as the Mercedes holds on to the S tier. And here's your GT4 Challenge open setup tier list for this week at Daytona. Now add to comment here for the roar, I would suggest a major buff to that Porsche is required while the Merc could maybe use a slight nerf to bring all the car median times a touch closer. But who knows what iRacing will do. All right, the GT3 Challenge fix goes to another pretty popular track this week, Silverstone. Although BOPs have been pretty good with the fixed setups this season, this week we see two cars well ahead of the pack. With medians well outside two seconds from the lead car this week, the McLaren, which can do well if you can handle it, although not many seem to be able to this week, and the Mercedes are both going to go D- tier. Bearing a bit better, but not by much, is the Porsche going D+. I have a C for the Ford, B for the Ferrari and BMW, S for the Lambo, and S plus for that Audi. So here's your GT3 Challenge fixed tier list for this week at Silverstone. And just a quick note, if you're enjoying this BOP video, drop the hammer on that like and sub button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to show a little more support for the work I put into these types of videos, there's also the super thanks and join buttons below. All right, now let's see how the BOPs pan out for the GT3s in the 40 minute open setup VRS sprint race. Now, other than the Ford and the McLaren going inconclusive with too few data points, not much changes overall other than the two leaders separating a touch further from the pack. The not so Mac Daddy Merc stays D minus. The Porsche D+, the BMW C, the Ferrari B-, and the Lamborghini gets a bit closer to the Audi, but we're still going to stick with an S and an S+, plus again here for each car respectively. So here's your VRS GT3 Sprint tier list for this week at Silverstone. Alright, the multi-class open setup IMSA Haggerty Series goes to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course this week. We got three cars outside one second in the average lap time median from the fastest car here, the slowest being the Mercedes going D minus, followed by the Ferrari with a D plus and the BMW in C. The Porsche and Audi interestingly skewing completely opposite here, even though they have similar median times. However, based on how these box plots are skewing, I'm putting the Porsche in B tier and the Audi in A tier. That leaves the fastest car this week at Indy being a Lamborghini going S tier. So here's your IMSA Haggerty Series GT3 tier list for this week at Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. All right, last but not least, I'll quickly hit the European Sprint Series, which goes to one of my favorite courses, Le Mans. 
and what could be the best car here this week however is going to go inconclusive afford just too few data points d i have the bmw b the corvette and nearly identical their median times at the ferrari and rsr going a so here's your european sprint series gte tier list for this week at le mans So there you have it folks please go check out one of my other most recent videos up in the right hand corner and i do stream some of my longer official races in league racing here and other various games outside of racing over on my other youtube channels link below for that as well as my other socials and until next time safe driving